What is the crack? How we doing? We got the keys to our gaff. We started moving. We're wearing a shirt today. Is it A, because I want to be fancy in our final few streams, or B, because I didn't bring the clothes to the laundrette? Please get your answers on the postcard. Um, how's everybody getting on? I'm, uh, I'm excited. I said it to Hannah, and I'll probably say it again later on. It feels like we are coming to the season finale. Everything is getting sorted. All the loose ends need to be sorted before we go to season two, which is the arrival of the baby. The way we're going to wrap it up, by the way, is by winning a scoop title, just so everybody knows. It's obviously a reasonably good flop here in the marathon. I think we're going to keep betting. It is starting to get a little bit thinner, but like I think they most likely would be doing a check raise. Uh, maybe not. King Jack might just call, but we're going to continue. Fuck about, mate. Fuck about. I think we're going to have to call. They're playing 56% rounds. It's only over a 12 pound sample, but like, you know, that's a big sample when you're trying to find out something like this. I think um, ugh, they're going to have pocket jack sometimes, which obviously we're drawing out against, which is very, very sad. I think King Jack is a possibility, but they should only have King Jack suited. Therefore, it's two combos. Five combos. Could call the flop of fives or sixes, I guess. All right. This is why we call against players like this. If I had no reads on this player, I would have folded. This is why we call. Oh. Oh, you got aces, mate. Have you got aces, mate? I'm not afraid to punt it off. It's not punt it off. I have ace king. It's not like I'm sitting here with ace five suited doing something gangster now, is it? Not one little bit. We're not necessarily set mining, but when you do flop a set, bloody hell is that good. I'm just going to go ahead and raise. Players playing a lot of pots. I think they're going to... Or unlikely to fold if they have a strong hand. I think that's quite obvious. Oh, hello. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you very much for my... Thank, thank you very much for the food. That is absolutely beautiful. I Honestly, this is my favorite breakfast we've had in a long time. It's so good. It's so, it's like a little, you know, a little pocket of love. It's a little pocket of love. It's beautiful. Yeah, I don't, I honestly, watching you get pregnant and a human grown inside you, I thought it was impossible to love you more. But now you're making these things. And honestly, honestly, I don't believe this run out, by the way. Um, honestly, you've done it. I've done it. There's a chance we should have just got it all in, by the way. We are going to re-raise here. With the ace is quite a good start. If I do say so myself, but if it's the same food we're having every day at the moment, it's our pancakes. We are actually gonna check the turn. I think batting's also gonna be fine, but I think you should mix in some checks, so gonna do that. Uh I'll two X pot all in. Zebo Tiro, no one falls a full house! We're getting called here by Pocket Force. Pocket Force for the showers! Pocket Force for the showers! That was actually a better call than uh than Pocket Force, so nice hand. Just go off here. We're going to go back to the 55 daily marathon where we have the king and the king. Uh, we are going to make this nine big blinds. Obviously, we would love to play for all of the chips if possible. And on this board, possibly want to just bet a lot of chips. How many exactly? I'm not sure. I think honestly, all in might be fine here. Obviously, nines and eights are both hands that their opponents are going to have. I do call it H Trey, which I'm not a fan of. And uh, we are a fan of getting all the chips, though. Thank you very much. All right, we are raising with Ace King. This time, if anyone wants to go all in, I would not be against it. Wager all of the betting discs. Um, I'm going to bet on the larger side on this board. I think that is okay with this hand. I think we should probably do some checking as well. <clears throat> on a seven, it's pretty much dust for us. We are going to be checking. Question is whether I want to bluff on that river card. To be fair, I've been pretty uh, pretty tidy. I've been punting off too many chips at all here. I think I do need the bluff. <clears throat> and I think that size is going to be all in. Can I have some flushes here? Absolutely. bloody lootly. Can I have some tens? Of course. Am I still shoving 2x the pot? I have the high end of the straight. Scoop is less than a month away. That scares the living daylights out of me. It was this time last year when we were uh, when we were banging out. A quarter of a million dollar score because scoop was in april wasn't it what date did we win it in i mean do you know what in my mind I, I said nine like really clearly and i didn't say it out loud but i didn't call for the card on the river uh we're going all in here we're gonna call obviously pretty setty looking board if i do say so myself so 
I'm going to bet small, but I actually think we might be meant to bet big here from what I've looked at in these tree bet spots, but it's a little bit different when it goes raise, call, squeeze. Interesting. Um, obviously, it's a pretty good turn card for their range, but I'm still going to bet and not fold. Or do I check? <sighs> All right, we're going to check. Pretty good run out, I would say. Hopefully they have ace king and they're about to hit the bloody showers, son. Remember when you said I lost 10k my chips? Watch this, T Forbes. Get your little pen and pencil out. Watch how a real pro does it. You don't think that I can call a squeeze, bet the flop with air, and then run a runner on the perfect run out to get all the chips with Jack 10 of Diamonds? Easiest run out of my life. I'm all in, bro. I am wagering all of the chips. All of it. Aces! Yup the boys get the fit finger wags out for the lads. Easy cash. And now, because I didn't put it all in on the turn, I look like I actually played the hand alright. If I had a bet called the turn, it would have looked like an idiot. Would you call this a punt, T Forbes? That's what I don't know, because I would not call this a punt. I feel like oh fucking hell. I think it's fine to fold. I think it's okay. Uh, we're going to be pricing the call here. Good luck. Got a lot of cards to avoid. That's a good turn. That's a good river. We get more chips. We stack them up. Easy cash monies. Uh, interesting pot down here. Um, we're going to bet this turn. And we're going to win a decent pot in the marathon. We're flying. We're not getting knocked out at any time soon. Um, I'm going to overbet this river card. Special discount price just for you, my friend. It's not much of a discount, is it? It's a pretty large bet. We got two all-ins. Oh, no, sorry, not all-ins. But two large bets. We got Obi saying good luck. Thank you. And here we are trying to tree-bet call. Well, we're tree-betting. We're happy with foals, but we are obviously calling. If they shove, seems like a decent little strategy. If I could offer new poker players one piece of advice for starting, what I would say is flop more sets. Malface says the move got anything to do with nesting. Mate, we just don't have enough space. Like, that's just the reality. Like, I, 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 I've explained this, and obviously, when I bought the place, it was just the two of us. It's about to be the three of us. Um, uh, it's about to be the three of us. Um, uh, that was the plan down the line, but we didn't know it was going to happen so quickly. Um, so, like, saying it like it's a madness, like the circumstances changed. Currently, I have a two bedroom apartment. Um, I, w I, I explained it earlier on. I, the tone you're using, I really don't appreciate um, at all. But I was going to get an office, you know, when the kid moves into this room, because it would have had to be their, their bedroom. But I don't want to work away from home. So we decided to move to a bigger place. Um, and it's not going to cost us anything once we rent this place out. And then we're going to pay the difference in rent. Um, whipping out to write off the office is just not going to cost anything. So, uh, yeah. All right. We have the Kevin Cleans here in the 55 Daily Marathon. Uh, we are going to re-raise, and obviously if Pepon decides to play for all the chips, we will play for all the chips with the second best hand in the game. Hopefully not against the number one best hand in the game. That is a big pot. Oh god, they have so many outs. Less outs. Not enough out! Get the fin finger wags out for the boys! Not even I am capable of punting off these chips. Get my name on the trophy immediately! We have 150 big blinds. We are one out of 90. 180,000 chips. Not close enough to the money to be folded. Ace Jack suited here. No thank you. Get it in good. We are still good. We are still good. Nice. Up to 185,000 chips. We are flying in the marathon. Easy gaming. And we're going to go to the aces. It's kind of interesting. Um, definitely think it's possible that they have some sets on this board. Just going to start with a check call. And down here, I'm going to go all in. Um, we're raising here. It's obviously pretty wide, but we're pretty close to the money. So I feel like it's just about excusable. And now I've got to call an all-in with ace five. This has gone very well. Um, we're going to call. Of course, I'm not very happy about it, but it is what it is. Just getting too good of a price. And we just lead a little ace. You know that ace five actually cannot lose on poker stars. Do you understand that? Do you understand the hack that I have unlocked here? Do you get that? If you have ace five, fint in hand guarantee, put all your chips in, you're going to win the pot. <laughs> this is a really, 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 really ugly spot. The problem with this spot is that they actually have hands like pocket eights, pocket nines, pocket tens. 
Ah, but I think it's a kind of similar situation to the Elmeric spot where I don't know if I want to give them a free card for their draws. I could be drawn dead. Well, not drawn dead, but well, I could against fives, but... Alright. We just don't... I just don't want to give a free card here. Um, obviously, this time it works out. Last time it didn't. That is fine. Um, but we are on the exact bubble. If we had, like, aces or something here, I'd call, right? But my hand just needs so much more protection. Big stack on the bubble. And here we could be playing a very big pot on the bubble of the marathon. But uh, we got a call here. Big flip. That is quite the flop. And it looks like we are about to be not in the cash monies because that is a terrible turn card. Oh my god, you just hate to see it. It's also a very big pot, right? Getting the chips on my left. Just all around terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. But we're still ship leader. That's how many chips we have right now. We can lose a 40 big blind pot and just be like, yeah, we're still in the lead. And on this board, I don't think we have much reason to not bet. Even if they have over pairs, we got 10 outs. And against this, we are, of course, going to call. Hopefully, they have like 7 8. That's a pretty good hand to see. Lovely stuff. And that is a pretty large pot that we win in the marathon. We are back up to 233,000. Um, I think we're just going to call it a king queen. It feels a little bit awkward to shove. Oh my god. Ah. We're going to squeeze. Obviously, if SNE shoves, we're going to fold. If Danny shoves, we're going to call. And if Trzinski shoves, we're going to call. That might surprise some, but like they're going to be very, very, very pair heavy in this spot. So I won't be folding with the price we began. Uh, I didn't mean to make it 2.5x, to be perfectly honest. I, it doesn't matter all that much or anything like that. If we get re raised by SNE, obviously, not going to be folding. And on this board, we are going to have some larger bets. And we are going to go for it with this hand. It is by no means mandatory to bet big, I don't think. With this hand, I think we could probably slide it into a little small bet too. Possibly even check from time to time. Turn is interesting. I think we are just going to bet again. So, yes, it gets a little bit awkward for bet folding. I think if we were deeper, we should raise here. But like, if I make it like... 17 big blinds and then fold it's a bit of a disaster so we're just gonna call uh i'm not gonna bluff spades on this river as played so i have to find bluffs i think jack 10 is reasonable for an all-in the worst hand i would show here would be like king 10 um maybe king king six might be a bit thin so we're definitely gonna get called here sometimes but uh i am all in get her up there with that all right nice pop I want to check if there is any raising at the stack depth on that turn, and I want to check if all in on the river is appropriate. I think it will be. Also, want to make sure that the flop size makes sense. One of those hands where there's lots of interesting stuff going on. Um, I am going to probably just call here. Rolled very high, so I guess we're going to re raise. I think it's going to be fine. I think 7 8 suited gets re raised here. More so. <laughs> this is annoying. More so uh, hands like 7 6 suited and 6 5, I think. We are going to call this hand is going to, I think, be one of those hands that does pretty well in 4 bet pots, so. Uh, I'm not going to be able to fold. Good luck. Hopefully they don't have aces. One time ace 5 for the bet fold. Um, this is a big pot. A green card would be cool. Nice. Ahem, <clears throat> 350,000 chips, don't mind if I do! Uh, I think we kind of have to 3-bet after last hand, getting 4-bet shoves, and just picking up 2 cards again, but this time having the Kevin Cleans, 28 players left. I will say that if I flat called, it looks like this hand would have went in. Alright, let's avoid the ace from space for just all of the chips in the world, actually. The Kevin Cleans doing bits, I guess we're winning the daily marathon, 161 big blinds, final 3 tables. We've been chip leader since well before the money, just marched on towards the end. Uh, 25 big blinds. I have ace queen. I'm raising a lot. So I think that I'm going to have to call here and hopefully have the best hand. Woo! That is a disrespectful shove, good sir. Jack! 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 If it goes Jack, Jack, you quit. You gave it your best. Uh, I have 600,000 chips. All right. Back to back Jack's all in. This time versus the Ducks. There's no way they let me down twice in a row. It's simply impossible and also just mathematics. Back up to 720,000 chips. Easy cash monies. We are down to 17 players in the 55 a daily marathon. You know what? The marathon's the hardest tournament to get the rave going for it because it lasts so long on the final table. Listen, we'll have Maniac 2000. We'll have a bit of buzz, but it's hard to get too loosey-goosey on the marathon. You end up looking like a dickhead. Um, we're going to bet with fives. <clears throat> Definitely a board where you can start having some bigger bets too, but we're just going to go ahead and bet small. A lot of pressure on this player given the stacks the way they are set up at this moment in time. 
As Jelly Poker says, I'm watching from Spain. Good luck, Finn, and take it down. Vamos! Spanish people are class. Big fan. Big fan of that hand as well. We pick up the Kevin Cleans in the 55 marathon with two tables remaining. We are the chip leader. Hopefully, we are about to accumulate more chips. Wow. Wow. I don't know if it's best to just shove here, but we are going to click it. Uh, it could make this slightly smaller, to be honest. I think it's too big, but it is what it is. Does Carbing have the hand that they want to dance? He says, please. I say no. You on. No. All right. Kings versus Kings. How utterly boring. I guess I said, please, hoping that it was not the ace and the ace. Which is, you know what? When that click comes in at that point, I think my size was too big. I think that was a monstrosity of a size. And I know I fucked up there, but it's okay. I I, I fucked up. But listen, sometimes you make mistakes. It's all good. I think, honestly, I should be making it like a minimum raise over what they made it. Not like 2.5x. I, I, I just I lost me blade marbles. <sighs> I mean, all right, we're just going to call. I think we want to start having a king or an ace, particularly at this point. We are going to call. I think anything else would be a little bit spewy. Not really loving life if they barrel the turn. Uh, I'm not falling for that size. I mean, I don't really think their value range should be betting this size, but it's not to say they're not, right? They could have like jacks, ace, 10. Maybe they have like a weaker queen, but you know, like if they have ace, queen or better or something or king, queen, like two flush draws, all these straight draws, like you probably want to be betting larger. All right, nice. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know what I would have done if they bet there. The only reason is because, like, they didn't have a really strong hand to turn, and they want to represent that they're in a really strong hand on the river. I don't know if I would have been able to buy that. Boys and girls, for the first time today, we have got ourselves a Maniac 2000 in the 55. I should uh, call it 55 five marathon. Um, all right, it is time. We are looking to win a tournament for the first time in over a month, like we said. I got the shirt on today. I fucking knew, man. All right. She was a sexy lady. How'd she get him? How'd she know? She was in for fright. Step by. Funnily enough, I went to a school run by monks. True story. Now move to that groove. Put your hands up in the air. One simple question to answer. Red day. As Torino says, what a week for Ivy. Man can't be stopped. Some crack playing a few cards and winning seven figures in a week. Woo! Good luck on the final table. Thank you very much, mate. Rocky, Rocky, baby, baby, Rocky, Rocky, more. Patrick says, maybe Ivy's the goat. In my eyes, he is. In my eyes, he is. If I had to pick one right now, Phil Ivy. Not even close. Oh, the potatoes for the final table. That is what you love to see. So, look at that. Get yourself a girl that brings you in bonus potatoes while you're on a final table. Oh, look at the crispiness. Look at the crispiness. You want a little bit of one. You don't really like potatoes, man. I, we got called there by his deuce. At this point, like we would start to introduce some shows, but I don't think King Deuce is going to be good enough. it. So we'll raise, fold the top, raise, call the top and raise fold the bottom raise call the top and shove the middle would be what we would be up to here would we'll be playing a pure raise strategy i wonder if this is the hand we four bet shove because i don't have any asex uh, i'm gonna shove and look at this later on it could be terrible cool <clears throat> so i know people are gonna think this is fucking mental and that is fair enough i could potentially click it back instead the reason I do it is because the hands that you normally want to four bet, that you normally want to four bet shove, um, I don't have. Like I don't have ace deuce, I don't have ace five, I don't have. So then I think the way you do it in these ICM spots is taking. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I might it might be it might be an absolute month like just disaster replay. But like that's my logic as to why I did it, and I'm gonna check it out later on. Because I just don't have suited kings, right? I don't have suited ace x. None of those hands are just all in pre flop. So. How do I want to bluff all in? I think having a king is going to be, you know, the best. And could be wrong though. Like they, their true back calling is super, super tight there, right? But people are people are probably going to be mad. I'll look at it later on, and I'll see if the concept is at least right as to what I'm thinking. Have you seen all in four ways? Wow. How is there even a four-way pot on the final table? I have no idea. Can we just have a triple elimination right now? I just want to. I just want to make sure the concept's at least correct in my head. And if it's not, then it's uh, it's big trouble.
We are going to lose a player and we are going to be down to eight. All right, we have Ace King. What could go wrong? We're still one out of eight. Let's get some chips. Let's get them back. We've punted them off. I think we peaked at about 850 or so. Oh, a little bit more. A little bit more. All right, mate. Would you like to dance for all of the chips? I'm unlikely to be folding, but if either of these players on my direct left shove, it would be quite disgusting. I will be all in versus a four bet. It's a long old time bank, gay, eh? And I don't have the longest... The longest... All right, well, congratulations, mate. I've been too active. I fucking four bet shoved king deuce. If this player has aces or kings after me four bet shoving king deuce off into them, I'm going to be very, very, very upset. Very, very, very upset. Look, it's out of my hands. If they have queens, then fuck. Congratulations. You don't know what to do. I'm going to hit an ace. I'm going to have a million chips. That's what's up. Big Boy says, that's Longoria. I loved Ava Longoria when I was younger. Uh, like this, 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 if I look this up, I'm pretty sure this would be a fold. But when it's the 55 marathon, I just can't bring myself to fold. Interesting river cards. Damn. Damn it. Hopefully they call with like 10s. Sorry to me too many hands that they would have that want to call that don't block. If they check shove, I'm not going to fold, but fuck me. They could check a set three times, but like... <sighs> King 10, I don't know if this player has a very, very tight pre-flop. <clears throat> All right, we do get called. We're back up to 825,000 chips. I am very, very, very good at poker. Guess the hand they called. Answers on the back of a postcard. Pocket 10s. I think pocket 10s was the one in a few hands. Like, I think they would block any of the jacks they open when they're playing so tight. And like 10s actually probably should block, I think. All right, we are raising with Queen Jack in first position. I think it would be an utter disgrace to consider folding this. And on 10, 9, 6, we're going to mix, but I'm leaning heavily towards check. It's a pretty good river card, but unlikely to get too many chips in here. If we're playing in chips, I would bet a lot larger here, but I'm just going to go for the size. Might not be right, though. I guess the hand actually weren't running. I think I'm going to tree bet. I just, the reason I'm going to tree bet is like against the min reds, I think they're actually just going to have a lot of hands. I think I'm going to go greedy as well. Like, I just don't think they would min raise with a full house. I think they're going to have a decent chunk of like 9 8, ace 9. Oh, hopefully I'm not wrong. I think they're not going to fold those hands either. Oh, that is a crazy raise call. God damn, son. Woo! <laughs> God damn. If they had a raise a larger size, I would have just called. But like when they go for the min raise on the river, it feels like they're just going for the tin value. Now, I didn't think tin value was going to be a king. I thought it was going to be like an oddly played trips. Well, not oddly, just trips. But we go for it all. We get the call with ace king. We are down to seven players. We got ourselves a massive chip lead. We'll take that. Thank you very, very much. Hey, hey, I'm going to keep the variance lower by flat and ace king. Pretty flop out a small blind, and then I'm gonna fucking call a three bet on a river with one pair. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. Maybe they think I'm getting way out of line there. It's very possible. It's just funny that they tried to play a small pot and then they had to min raise the river. The greed got them. Um, not gonna be putting any more chips in here. King Jack versus King Queen. It looks like a bad flop for the King Jack. We are officially down to six players. Uh, not using Jack-10 off the tree bet. I think it would be a little bit on the spewy side. All right. <clears throat> Did we lose another player? Did I just miss a hand? Sorry. Ace-Queen versus King-9. When did they get in? Four bet show Ace-Queen. Wait, what? Excuse me? I would imagine they're going to put it in my eye a lot, but do you know what, mate? I just like them to have to do it. I just like them to have to put the chips in. I don't even care if they do it. I just want to see it. Get a couple more folds up to 1.3 million chips. Not going to be able to shove this one, I don't think. I'm just going to call. <clears throat> Play a pot in position. I don't think I want to be... I don't think I really want to... Um... True bet fold. Normally I would check king queen here, but when we have these suits, I think we should bet. Obviously bet fold would be a little bit sad, but... Such is life. Just seems a little bit too much of a nice spot to bet with the diamonds and hearts covered. Our friend of the stream is all in, who probably is not actually a friend of the stream and hates me a little bit. Unfortunately, they get flopped dead and they are out of there. We are down to four players in the marathon. Um, 
All right, we get check raised. Uh, this is a board where we probably want to have some checks, but with the way the stacks are, like they shouldn't be defending overly wide. I actually don't think this board is that much better for them than us. Obviously, it's a pretty interesting turn card. Probably gonna just check. Uh, we are calling again. I mean, a tray would be lovely. All right, they go for it with Jack 8, but they don't pull the trigger. We win a nice pot. We are back up to 1.7 million chips. Gamble, gamble. How many entry tree How many entries does this tournament have? Uh, it had 297. We were in for one bullet for once, which is nice. We have won it once this year already. We're trying to win it yet again. Uh, we're going to raise with Ace King. Hopefully, cross shoves. Maybe we just end it right here, right now. It's so unfair that I have a real hand. Like, it's actually so unfair. If they show if we actually might be playing for all of the chips, it's so unreasonable. Like, it's such a normal, like, good jam. It's just completely unreasonable that I have Ace King the time that they decide to show. If we are up to almost 2 million chips, we are three handed and we are guaranteed over $1,000. We are going to be raising with Ace Jack here. If they didn't shove, probably not going to fold, to be honest. God, it would be ugly. Final table Guinness. I'm off the alcohol. I gave up alcohol in solidarity with H, who is a. Uh, at this point, extremely heavily pregnant and uh, only got seven weeks to go. And then I'll be having a few crispy pints. I'd say I will be very, very, very drunk off a few pints. Well, it won't take much. Two or three points, white girl wasted. All right, we are officially over two million chips. Starting to run away with it ever so slightly. Obviously, we would not be mad if these two players go head to head. Wow, they have. And that is it, boys and girls. We're going to be heads up. It is going to be 2 million versus 1 million to reset that streak to finally be able to show my face on the twitch streets without being embarrassed again this is pretty deep stacked 63 big blinds to the streets we go 100 big blind heads up just delightful 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 stuff not 100 percent sure about this so far this player has not done a lot of folding to me so i don't know if i want to really be bluffing right now but we're giving it a bash not gonna bluff, we still win against some king queens, some miss spades. All right, we are raising with the queen nine suited. We are guaranteed $1,675. First place is $2,700, but it means a whole lot more than that. We need the trophies, we need the glory. Uh, I think betting here is fine. I think checking's gonna be fine. We're gonna bet this time. We are gonna check back on the turn. And I will be calling the river, or else I will be betting the river. Obviously, if they bet really large, it's quite annoying. And then the queen becomes a little bit less good, blocking some of their floats. But we're heads up. I bet one third on the flop. They're still going to be able to find plenty of bluffs. <clears throat> I think that our hand is a reasonable tree bet, to be honest. Fender better says go, Finton. We get re-raised with king four suited. This is just going to be a call. Not going to be filled. Danny suit king x to a tree bet. And this is kind of spot where I would check with some, again, King I flush draws, but I think like King 4, King 3, King Deuce are all going to be pretty good to bet. Check some like King 7, King 8, King 9, and then obviously value bet the higher ones again. Is how I would think about it. I'd like, I'm not in a heads up player, so, but that's what I would be looking to do. And we are just going to be calling. Don't think I want to be playing for stacks, but obviously folding is very much out of question. I will be calling regardless of the size on the turn. Still have the best hand. We're ahead of stuff like... 7 8 8 9 um worst flush draws um i think the gin card for us might be like an offsuit tray for us to get bluffs that's a pretty bad river card a lot of the bluffs now beat my hand you know if they have 7 9 7 4 8 7 8 9 any of these hands all have a pair and unfortunately i can't bluff uh if they check so sad run out i think you can have some big bets here as well but aces with the uh, spade we're just gonna call was the flush draw that bricked was the main one unfortunately i do fold as we got or vz coming in with a prime for a full year thank you very much mate welcome back gonna check back on five five deuce it's kind of annoying because like i block like six three six four these kind of fans that might be bluffing here obviously on that river card i'm now not going to be folding their sizing's interesting like i think they should probably be betting bigger yeah i'm just gonna call like it's definitely a chance they're gonna have a five or a deuce here but when i check back the flop like i'm surprised they didn't go bigger on the flop or on the turn yeah i'm a donkey it's an unfortunate river card but i just think that when um they don't go bigger on the turn i don't know, obviously they've they've just wrecked me i'm not gonna heads up so i don't want to give too much thoughts when i'm just not good at the game how did they get all the chips and um, some big pots obviously i've just 
fucking paid it off in that river. I think it's really, really tough to fold with a six when we river it. Maybe you could argue fold in the turn, but also feels quite weak. All right, we defend here, and if we see a small bet, we are going to raise it up on Ace Jack Trey. Obviously, this hand is good enough to play for all of the chips. We can be bluffing here with just four or five diamonds, whatever it might be. I think it's a pretty clean shove. Um, if they have a better hand, then such is life. But I think this is reasonably clean. No snap is exactly what we want. The tank call is exactly what we need. I think they'd snap off ace nine, ace ten. So I think we're pretty good. Hoping to get called by like probably jack five, jack four over like a jack ten, jack nine um, at this point. I don't think they want to have a 10 or a 9 in their hand. All right, we take it. We are back up to the 50 big blinds, half the stack. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and bet on this board. Obviously, my hand is pretty garbage. Uh, I'm going to go for an over bet on the turn. Yeah, I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's enough. Going to call versus min and on 10, king 10-5. Tracking says he's playing pretty good. I think he's playing pretty well as well, though. The deal means he doesn't get to engrave his trophy. Uh, the trophies are all packed up, mate. I'm afraid the trophies are all gone to the new house. All the trophies are gone. Confirmed want to win more than the money. Cannot fold just yet. I don't think. Uh, I'm going to call. I mean, we're definitely going to get shown a king sometimes, but I'm not going to fold. Block the river straight. Unblock all the bluffs. Yeah, maybe I'm terrible. Fuck. Possibly terrible. Obviously getting run over a bit there. Maybe I should fold, but whatever. I think it's going to be called at some mix, but I could be wrong. 